gigantic sharks and turtles to the legendary chupacabra. Here are 10 cryptids from the Caribbean islands. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. And before getting to the list, we have to give a cryptic shout out to Yellowjacket 2 p Great name, by the way. Well, they suggested we do a Crypto Fun Friday episode focusing on the Caribbean, and that turned out to be a great idea. So thanks. And if you have an idea for an episode in the future, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Caribbean Monk Seal This species of seal was native to Caribbean waters and was sometimes called the sea wolf. They were said to grow to nearly 8 feet long and weigh nearly 600 pounds. Starting in the 15th century, fishermen began to overhunt the animals for the oil, and overfishing led to the diminishing of the food sources. That, along with the bold, inquisitive nature, led to their demise. The last confirmed sighting of the Caribbean monk seal occurred in 1952 between Jamaica and Nicaragua. Several expeditions search for surviving specimens, but the animal was officially declared extinct in 2008. But in Haiti and Jamaica, fishermen and divers still claim to see the animal, but no evidence of the seal's continued existence has yet been found. Chichani. This is said to be a big, flightless bird that resembles an owl. Sightings have occurred in Andros Forest in the Bahamas. It's said that the birds will bestow good luck on a traveler who treats them well, while hard times await the traveler who mistreats them. Some cryptozoologists think the critter might be related to Tidopollens. That was a flightless species of barn owl that was native to Andros Island and was said to stand around three feet tall. It's thought to have survived until settlers entered the forest in the 16th century. Even so, Sightings of the Chichani are reported today. Caribbean Crowing Snake. Reported sightings of this creature have occurred in Jamaica and Haiti. And much like a rooster, this reptile has a red crest and wattles, and is said to make a distinctive crowing sound. Most descriptions agree it has a thick body with an ochre coloration and measures about four feet long. Some accounts claim it has a feathered tuft on its tail. Although it's often regarded as part of folklore, we found cases where the decomposed body of an alleged crowing snake was examined by a Jamaican doctor in 1829 and one of the creatures was reportedly killed in 1850 in Jamaica. While sightings of the snake have been reported in the 21st century, it's more often heard than seen. Curious Cryptids of Christopher Columbus, Part 1. So, this will be a two-part segment. Now, have you ever heard the old rhyme that goes, In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue? Well, it seems the explorer encountered a few cryptids along the way. One story involves Columbus killing and skinning what was described as a five-foot-long serpent that inhabited a lake. It happened on the island of Isabella in the Bahamas in 1492. A similar critter was killed the next day on that island, but neither specimen was preserved or properly documented, so it's impossible to say just what the creatures may have been. Because the term serpent was used loosely in that time, they might have been anything from crocodilians to huge snakes. What do you think they were? The Beast of Coimar. The village of Coimar in Cuba might be best known as a place Ernest Hemingway once called home, but it's also known for having huge sharks that terrorize local fishermen. In 1945, a group of Cuban fishermen encountered an enormous great white shark. By some accounts, it measured some 24 feet long and weighed more than 7,000 pounds. When the shark took the bait, the fishermen attempted to capture it, but the huge shark went on the offensive and attacked the boat, destroying the keel. It circled the vessel and then made another rush toward it, but this time the fishermen were able to harpoon it, and after a lengthy struggle, they brought it to shore. The animal might have been the largest great white shark ever documented, but its size was never officially verified. Reports of even larger sharks have been reported in Cuban waters, some of which are said to exceed 30 feet. Curious Cryptids of Christopher Columbus, Part 2. In 1494, Columbus was sailing in the Caribbean, when along the east coast of Hispaniola, he reportedly saw what appeared to be a huge turtle that was the size of a whale. It had fins on its side and a long tail, and was apparently keeping its enormous head out of the water as it swam along. Large sea turtles like the loggerhead are not uncommon in waters of the Dominican Republic. These turtles get the name for their unusually large 
heads and have reportedly weighed up to a thousand pounds and measured more than nine feet long. That's big for a turtle, but not nearly the size of a whale. Any thoughts about this one? Luska. This is said to be a man-eating aquatic monster that is found in the region of Andros, an island in the Bahamas. Andros is known for its vertical underwater sinkholes, or blue holes, and for a meandering system of caves in the region. The Luska is said to lurk within those network of caves. It's described as a bizarre hybrid of octopus and shark, although other accounts describe it as a kind of eel-squid hybrid. Before it attacks, the water will start to furiously bubble and roil, and the monster will suck the victims into the water and feed upon them in the deep caves. Disappearances of swimmers and underwater cave divers have been blamed upon the creatures. Survivors of purported attacks say they were grabbed by huge tentacles and are said to have welts on the bodies that are similar to those left by suckers. Reports have indicated the creatures can grow up to 200 feet long. Mermaids. Mermaids are some of the best-known cryptids, normally described as humanoid creatures with a lower body resembling a fish tail. They've been reported in Caribbean waters many times. We found stories of the English explorer John Smith encountering the creatures in this region in the 17th century. Smith described the mermaids he saw as having long green hair and being quite attractive. Pirates of the Caribbean like Blackbeard are said to have encountered mermaids several times when they weren't busy looting and plundering. He considered the creatures bad luck and always steered clear of waters where they were thought to exist. And even a friend Christopher Columbus, who seems to be taken over this list, he's said to have spotted mermaids in 1493. Unlike John Smith, though, Columbus said these creatures were uneasy on the eyes. Los Bienbiens, and that is the only pronunciation I could find. Well, according to local legends of the Dominican Republic, the isolated mountains of Baruco contain a group of mysterious hominids identified as Los Bienbiens. They're described as half-human, half-ape-like creatures, and sightings of them date back to the 1700s, after some indigenous people and an African slave escaped from the Spanish and hid out in the mountains. The theory goes that after being cut off from civilization, the escapees eventually eventually mutated into feral beings that are about the size of a child with deformed bodies. They're said to be agile climbers that live in the trees, and at dusk they come down and sometimes hunt in groups. The creatures are aggressive, mean-tempered, and have been known to kill humans and eat them. Supposedly, they create tracks that face backwards, which disguises the movements and keeps them hidden, and occasional sightings in the area are still reported today. And by the way, should you ever encounter one, experts advise that you run. And before getting to the number one Caribbean cryptid, here are a few honorable mentions. Now this one is very similar to the Luska. Although it doesn't hole up in caves, it roams the deeper waters of the Bahamas. It's been called a giant scuttle, and scuttle being a regional term for octopus. It's been described by pearl divers and swimmers as an enormous version of that critter, Siguapa. Now accounts of male or female hominid creatures with dark blue skin and long manes of hair have been reported in the mountains of the Dominican Republic. They're called the Siguapa. Said to emerge at night, they have feet that are positioned backwards, and that way the footprints never give away which direction they're headed. And that sounds kind of similar to the BMBN. Chupacabra. Well, by now you know, Chupacabra translates into goat sucker. Initial reports of this creature actually began in Puerto Rico in March of 1995, when eight sheep were found dead. Each had three puncture wounds to the chest and were completely drained of blood. Authorities initially thought that the mutilations were the work of a predator like a fox, but later on, a woman named Madeline Tolentino claimed to have witnessed the monster that was responsible for the killings, and she claimed it was a bipedal beast with bulging black eyes and stood around four feet tall. In November of 1995, some 30 people also claimed to see chupacabras in Canovanas. And that same month, around 150 animals, including goats, cows, and horses, were found dead and exsanguinated, with those same three puncture wounds on the bodies. More than a thousand animal deaths were attributed to the chupacabra by the end of 1995. Eyewitness accounts resulted in a general description of the creature. It stood up to five feet tall, 
had glowing red eyes, gray skin, fangs, and long spinal quills that might have functioned as wings. Now that sounds a lot different from the descriptions nowadays, doesn't it? But from that time on, reports of the legendary goat sucker have occurred all over the world. 